Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with D Developers. My name is Ray Combs. I'm here with Sam Letters. We have two of the most active Mine Colonies developers. And we're today going to take a look not only at our colony here on the 1171 Patreon server, but at a bunch of the colonies that we find here on the server. So I'm here in spectator mode at the moment. We can see a little different view of our colony today. It looks quite in interesting. In between it always looks so cramped. From the outside it looks very nice and it does give me a little bit of a of a memory, kind of remembers me a bit of Machu Picchu, I have to say. I gotta upgrade that town hall because that is just sad. But overall, I'm very happy with this colony. We reached 25 citizens now, I guess. So. Overall, I'm very happy with the colony, how it turned out. It's coming along nicely. So let's see, let me first teleport to people that are online, right? Let's see. Just going to teleport to Cold Sun. So he's working on a fortress colony, very nice. It has a bunch of progress as well. To build it inside the mountain, kind of. And has a raid. <laughs> Next, Elkin J. Let's see, Elkin J. They've been playing a lot. They must have a big colony. We have a large Asian colony here. East Asian colony. Oh, come, sorry. And hello there, Darkwin, Kabehunga, Rensuro. Hi, everyone. Some nice walls set out. I've seen these walls have been fairly popular among a lot of players. I'm not sure if that is the is that the Asian style wall. I, I just uh, saw them in a few places already. You can see here some places where raiders tr try to get up as well. Hello there, Cooper Twelve. I think there's the stone walls potentially, and we have here some berry bush defenses. Yeah, the little ones are. With the guard towers integrated. Very nice. And someone definitely took care of the fences here. So, Mizen. And then after that, we go and check out cities of people that are not online. So, Mizen is trying out the. What is the name again? Yeah, that was your place, I can change. And the Frontier. Frontier, yes. Also started with F. That's not Fortress. I was like, something with F. It's like Fortress, but it's not Fortress. So, it does look very Frontier-ish. Like, kind of like colony settlement, I have to say. But it's huge, right? Looks very nice still, though. I think mostly. So who else? Vash. Then we go through the list and see. So Vash just started out here in the tundra. It's going with a Nordic style. A very nice little colony as well, though. And is not going with a area flattening approach, it seems. So now let's MC colony list. Sam was kicked out again. First, uh, let's, let's take a look at the beehive, which is the new hive colony style. You can see it from outside. It looks uh, gives a reminder of a beehive a little bit. And we can see then from the inside, and we have an actual beehive area here. Overly, there are different areas, and you can kind of float 
through them. So each of the buildings, they're all kind of connected through little tunnels. There's not a, there's no outside area basically. Even confusing for me to get around in there. Good that citizens are better at pathing than we are. <laughs> yeah, that's a long long tunnel and again here. Okay, who else do we have here? Beetopia, Walktopia. Oh, someone else is going with the Ninkan style colony. Nice. A little Asian settlement next to it. Very nice as well. A place that's kind of a little bit, a little bit in a valley, it seems. Yeah, those citizens are nicely placed. Very nice. The Walktopia. Me since we went, Chades. So she has two colonies. She has, for once, one that she built herself and one with... <laughs> so, we got here the, a the ac an Acacia themed colony. So it looks nice. Then we got... Seminus colony. That one must be large as well. Seminus stuff is always large. Going with frontier as well. Oh wait, we already visited that once when there were issues. I think he has not uh, progressed a lot since then. I think he was then kind of traumatized by the weird guard uh, pirate raids he got, had gotten. We have Mech Sasa. A little bit of a lag after clicking on a colony. Takes. So. We got a large Asian colony here as well. Yeah, we are loading a large colony here. Wow. A huge Asian colony here. I'm lagging my client. Looks very nice. You can see all the all the item frames. <laughs> it's just killing my client. Huge Asian colony one. Looks great. It looks great. Got a nice river here with the, some boats passing. Very nice indeed. Some of these Asian bridges as well. Very nice. Low on defenses though. The two high fences. That's, that's all. So we went to Maxas, a TV dinner. It's next colony. Can't you hear Sam again? Say, okay, maybe yet yeah, now it should be working again. But that one Thanks. didn't progress. Now we can. Yeah, it's OBS okay. was was doing derpy derp again. OBS just hates me. <laughs> OBS hates Sam. Um, just like that that German accent just can't. We got an, hey, so. at at least it's not like South German. <laughs> what? If anything against South German accents, I know you have. It's terrible. <laughs> Come on. It's like, is it really supposed to be German? No, it's not. It's a proper language. <laughs> so, Wetz's like colony language. we got here. That one, I, we got a very developed frontier colony. Good that we can see that as well. A little bit low on defenses too. Everyone is just going with a too high fence. I think we need we need um, barbarians to break fences better. I had heard that barbarians break a little bit too quickly in 117 through gates. By the way. Well, but that's the same logic as 116. So. 
Someone said they researched it and it t took like a second and they went through it. But it's a bit Angie based. So, very nice as well. The large frontier style colony we can see here. Well, they, we definitely see that it. Well, it doesn't have to be so flat, to be honest. You can. But you need just like some flat plots and then you can have different flat plots on different heights. So who else? Kalaf. Hi Darkwing. Don't make fences weaker. Those lazy fence walls, I don't believe it. Hi Alexicon you can. Yes, those are the this is the Patreon server and the colonies on it. Not very lot. Let's say on here he is colony. Here he is. Has literally nothing. Polar and Shades colony. Here we have the one. So they have a Nordic style colony, which is huge for sure. It's only early game defense. There's a lot of late game colonies using defenses. Um. I do really love the Nordic style. There's only one thing that bugs me about the Nordic style, which is, which is also kind of the thing that makes it look so great, is that it's hard for me to figure out which buildings are which. Yeah, but at least from the top, since all moves. Yeah, but the Nordic style definitely looks very, very nice. So they, ah, now they have a nice defense pit here around the colony. Very neat colony. Yeah, Luna, Luna and John did a good job on the Nordic style. After we lost Taiga. I'm still grumpy about that. Huh? It's, it's people, right? People. Um, so, Polar Jade, Madman Paddy's Colony next. Oops, clicked the wrong. This is the name and not the teleportation. <laughs> so, we got a medieval colony here. Oopsie. Some nice paths. Some. Hmm. When you're almost constantly expanding the borders of a colony, it can feel pointless to build walls. The opposite, it's kind of like that you, you build like walls and then you have inner walls, you have like medieval cities, right? They have different levels of all walls, like more inner walls, more outer walls. Very nice. And that gives actually then the best defense, right? Because if you have different levels of walls, it's a great protection. Yeah, it's much better than just having one layer of walls and once they have reached, then they are completely so, And Dragon is also playing with Incan. So he chose, uh, they chose, running around assuming genders here, they chose a, a fly, yeah, relatively hilly biome. But not as mountainy as ours. But it still looks pretty great because just being a little bit hilly is already and now yeah. all you need basically. I like the so Incan style actually made the people not flatten their colony completely. Yeah. You don't need a lot of flattening because they all kind of fit on Minecraft slopes already. Very nice. Is it our raid? No. Um, so we are Dragon, Tomo Sapiens colony. Next colony, here we come. It's going to be a longer YouTube video today. We're just on page two of seven. Maybe we continue with the second half another time. So. 
Chun region, Sam rejoined. So we got here a fortress colony coming up, a little one. Thomas Ammon, Trifact, and Pan Piper. No, we have not visited your colony yet, John. What's your colony idea? ID? An other Incan colony, very nice. We're choosing the best style. Totally unbiased opinion as usual for me. Hmm. Nice. Yes, it, it, Incan really fits really nice into different biomes. So, very neat. Yeah, it's probably me causing the lag if anyone is having lag problems. So, and hi, Chef. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks a lot for the subscription. 18 months already, Lord. So, level three. Okay, let's. We're going to do the this, the, the page number three. Look at them all, cows. Um, and then we will. Okay, there's nothing here. Full mouth. And then we will re return to our colony. So, next colony teleporting. Full mouth. Teleport. Thank you. So, another medieval colony here. More deserty area, it seems, from the floor. Nice. Yeah, you, you can all blame me for the lag. Teleporting around, loading a lot of chunks. Very nice. And they, they always love medieval colonies. It's one of the easiest yeah, styles to make look nice. nice. It's still one of our best styles as yeah. well. So, a way to locate um, raiders? Yes, there is. Um, with spies in the barracks. Got another front, a mix of frontier and fortress, it seems. No, it's fortress. For a second, it seems a little bit frontierish. Another frontier fortress. That's Ninja and Miami. Alkenche, we already went. And to the next, we go in three, two, one. So there's not a lot here yet. Just got a builder. And over there some buildings as well. Um, Gambit's colony. Yes, and I saw that yours at the top of the page, so I thought it would be a great closing for the first part. So we have an underground colony here. A cave colony. We have apparently a little bit down here in the caves and a little bit up here where the forester just was cutting down trees. Interesting. That was a gambit. Willow, Geldorn. I th yes, I did already go to Panpipes. Yes. Willow got a jungle colony. Ah, the progressing. Mostly working, not connecting the things. That's Geldorn. We are one away. So I think that is also Changle pre pre our Changle update. Yes. Yeah, so Geldorn will go with Asian here. And now finally let's go to Charlheim. And then I will stop lagging everyone on the server as well. And we teleported to Charlheim. So John will go with the Nordic colony here. No town hall yet. Well, it is, is, it is a build in progress. Uh, very nice. And very nice Nordic colony here as well. 
the Taigaish forest. Work in progress here in the colony. Yes. Very nice. So, um, we will be continuing streaming for everyone watching this on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Um, please consider signing up on Patreon. We highly appreciate all the support we can get. Um, we will be regularly posting videos and YouTube and you can watch all of these streams and what we will be doing now after the end of the YouTube video on stream. Uh, thanks for tuning in.